Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Star Charts. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Kellogg system. It's located here on the edge of Vandal Space with four jump points. One jump point going to Vendetta, another jump point going to Bremen, another going to Kronos, and the fourth going to Vega. So let's go ahead and zoom in on Kellogg and take a look at the system. The Kellogg System. Travel warning. The Kellogg System is located near what is generally considered Vandal territory, although the organization of Vandal tribes is still not well understood. It seems that none have claimed Kellogg as their own. Yet, although no enemy traders have yet been spotted in the system, travelers are advised to take extreme precaution in the region. The Kellogg system, consisting of six planets orbiting a G25 yellow dwarf, extremely similar to Earth's own sun. Two of these worlds are inhabited and offer attractive trading opportunities to the interested trader. Kellogg 2, known as Z's, is slightly closer to the star than Earth, creating a lush tropical paradise world. Kellogg 6 is at the outer edge of the system's green band, a barely inhabitable rock which the UEE has converted into a prison world. A visit to Kellogg is not for the faint of heart. The system is ranked 6 on the galactic insurance chart, meaning that should loss of vehicle occur there, there is no repayment of cargo fees and upgrade replacement would be available only at a slight loss. There is nothing necessarily dangerous in the system itself, particularly for law-abiding pilots, and the rating instead reflects a simple truth. There are limited reasons an honest person should be there in the first place. Kellogg 2 Z's is the reason for the Kellogg System's unusually high insurance rating. For a system with a distinct UEE presence, the planet is dotted with deep, multi-canopy jungles with a biodiversity that rivals anywhere in the galaxy. From a warm sea that is home to 10-foot crab monsters, to rainforests that play host to millions of insects, primates, and most famously, flow pets. Few can forget the flow pet craze of the previous decade. The unusual animal, best described as a cross between a house cat and a jellyfish, has all the rage on earth. With the rich and powerful desperate to collect and breed them to show off their bejeweled internals. Kellogg too was their point of origin, where the first of their kind was captured by an intrepid privateer who initially believed they might be as delicious as they look. Further studies has definitely established that flow pets are not edible. Interest in the creatures has fallen off, and the offspring of these initial creatures can now be found inhabiting the sewers of every significantly developed world. Visiting Zs is also strictly forbidden. The UEE Subcommittee for Development and Expansion has identified the planet as a developing world citing the existence of the Orms, a primate hominid-like species centered near the planet's north polar regions. Orms have, in the past 300 years, begun to develop more complex social interaction schema and extremely primate Stone Age tool use. Although their culture is of interest to scientists, who sometimes buy equipment and preserved foods depending on the reason aim for winter, the orms themselves are not worthy of note for traders. They produce nothing valuable, and they themselves are not civilized enough for use as labor. The black market, however, is rampant. Although the planet is protected by a web of reconnaissance satellites, the UEE generally lacks the ability or the interest in properly policing the orbit. Incursions made without the proper amount of stealth are recorded and can harm a pilot's citizen rating in the long run. But there is little danger 
of running afoul of orbital batteries or encountering a stray destroyer squadron. Kellogg 6 is home to the UEE's massive quarter deck prison world, a maximum security penal facility that incarcerates hundreds of thousands of hardened criminals. Quarter deck is a full process antimatter refinery, which means that the extremely valuable fuel is available more cheaply here than in anywhere else in the galaxy. Antimatter processing is an incredibly dangerous affair and it kills dozens of prisoners a day. But reduced sentences are given to those willing to perform the work, helping to ensure that the UEE Navy and the Merchant Marine are fully fueled. However, interested merchants should note that transporting antimatter is extremely dangerous. A fully upgraded cargo hold is necessary, and anyone attempting the run needs to broadcast in the clear their manifest. No pirate wants to tangle with an antimatter transport because the simplest engagement will quickly lead to an explosion killing all parties involved. The UEE has also developed a system by which wanted criminals can be delivered directly to the quarterdeck by properly bonded bounty hunters. A Class VI Justice Star satellite sits at the planet's closest Lagrange point, allowing processing, trial, and sentencing to take place swiftly and effectively. Booking offers on the quarterdeck frequently pay a premium for wanted men, reflecting the reduced cost to the UEE that comes with having prisoners delivered directly to the system. As on any prison world, there is also an active black market. Merchants who can deliver luxury entertainments to the planet without attracting the attention of UEE wardens are handsomely rewarded. Of special value on quarterdeck are narcotics, which much of the population prizes as the sole escape from the danger and dreariness of forced antimatter mining. Market deals. Buy mil-spec weapons. Buy iron ore. Buy antimatter. Sell luxury goods. Sell narcotics. Final tips. Kellogg is a system with an immense opportunity for profit, but it is one that inexperienced merchants should avoid at all costs. Hundreds of interested newbies have noted the profit margin and afterburned straight to the system only to find themselves the target of the UEE forces guarding quarterdeck, or a tasty dinner for a Caesian sea crab. Don't make their mistake. Equip your ship properly, focus on stealth when dealing with the black market shipping, and tread lightly wherever possible. And from another source. Kellogg, developing system, planet six, Kellogg 2 has a 390-day standard Earth Day rotation. Kellogg 6 has a 78,538 standard Earth Day rotation. Import criminals and food. Export antimatter. Crime status very low. Black market, narcotics, biological goods. UEE strategic value, blue. Located near Vandal territory, the Kellogg system is home to a stark dichotomy. Kellogg 2, this has been designated by the UEE Subcommittee for Development and Expansion. As a developing world to a primitive species, a lush jungle paradise world, this would be otherwise ideal for human colonization. There is a small market for medicines and other organic goods collected from the, some risk on the planet's surface. Flow pets, the focus of a brief exotic animal fad among Earth's upper class, were initially illegally trapped here. Meanwhile, the outer planet in the system is the infamous Quarter Deck, Prison World, a maximum security penal facility home to hundreds of thousands of hardened criminals. The UEE allows prisoners at Quarter Deck to work their sentences in a full processing antimatter refinery. The fuel is thus available cheaply and raw materials involved in its creation are sometimes at a premium. Bounty hunters should note that Quarter Deck's booking officers are known to pay a reasonable rate for captured criminals. d and &E dictums specify that the system is not to be tampered with, and so the other planets have also been declared off-limits for mining and exploration purposes. 
The small army of police and guards that monitor quarterdecks ensure that no one interferes with this planet or the species on Kellogg 2. Should they catch someone, they certainly don't have to take them too far. And that was Kellogg. Thank you for coming out and checking out this episode of Star Charts. And be sure to check out our other episodes. And we'll see you in the room.